as good day today i'm going to be showing us how to fill the temperature chart also known as the observation chart or sheet depending on the hospital policy and here i'm having my month which i dedicate much to it the date i also choose 27 and then below you are having the name that's the name of the patient which i use as john nuhu the card number or the folder or the patient's number I have one three five one zero and then the word I'm having mm mini male medical word now also in your temperature observation sheet we are having the temperature either in Celsius or in Fahrenheit I'm having my pulse here my pulse I also measure my blood pressure there and here I'm having my respiration so here on top here i'm having the hours if you look at it carefully from two to six from six to ten you understand that there is four four hours what interval from two plus four you are going to have six from six plus four you are having ten that's to say that the vital sign of this patient is measured for four hourly so for example, let me take 2 here as by 2 a.m. So I'm going to fill everything here. Then I'll also fill the second one. And then I will try and explain how important this temperature chart is. Now, let me start. For example, me having my temperature to be 36.0 my pulse to be 80 beat per minute my blood pressure to be 110 over 70 millimeter of mercury and then my respiration 22 cycle per minute now please pay attention carefully and see how i feel it now i'm going to go under 36.0 this is it so very easy and i ensure that is the right time and then I make a sign here then I go to where my pulse is and I say my pulse is what 80 beat per minute so I come here I have it now pay attention look at how I'm going to measure my blood pressure my blood pressure say 110 over 70 now when I come over here this is my 110 and this is my 70 so how I'm going to do it is this now we take it from this edge here where it is pointing so because it is pointing at 110 it means I'm having my word 110 and then over here I have it like this now because it's pointing at 70 it means that my blood pressure is that's the diastolic is what 70 so it means that I'm having 110 over 70 then I'll come to my respiration here I'm having 22 cycle per minute so this is 20 21 22 and then I have it here that's it so if you look at it now, it's just very, very easy and very simple for you to feel. Now, I will take something again. I will take 39.2 as my temperature. Taking 130 as my pulse, 140 as my blood pressure, and then 20 as my respiration. And then I'm going to feel it randomly and show you how important this observation chart is now I say 39.2 now this is 39 I'm having point 0.1 point 0.2 but this time around permit me I'm going to fill it under 6 a.m. mind you the last one we did was under 2 a.m. now it's under what 6 a.m. and I say it's 39.2 so I have it here this is it so coming down to my 
pulse i'm having 130 so under here i'm having this my 130 i have it here now my blood pressure is 140 over 110 and this is my 140 so i'm having it like this over my 110 so i'm having it like this then what's my respiration then is what 22 the same with the previous one 22 now there's something that normally happen here in the temperature observation sheet now this temperature normally show you how or what type of fever a patient is passing through for example if this temperature shift again to 39.5 further shift again that's the next day or the next hour four hours to 40 and then it shift again to 40.5 now at the end of the day or during everything you try your best to join it now when you join it you look at it and then you know the type of fever this patient is passing through for example what happens if it goes down it comes up it goes down it goes up now for you to trace from here you go here you go here you go here you go here now you know that this fever is not what regular this is regular this is not regular reason because it is not steady it is neither decreasing nor increasing but what it is fluctuating it increase it reduce now you have to also understand that if you notice a great changes for example a patient who temperature has just been increasing slightly slightly and all of a sudden the temperature of the patient shifts to here and then when you join it you find out that there is a very great change here you have to try your best to call the doctor's attention immediately because you don't know what might happen next the same thing also with all the vital signs mind you there is a relationship between the pulse the respiration the blood pressure and also the temperature i hope this video has explained how to fill your temperature or observation sheet notwithstanding over here we are having the intake and then the drainage this is what most especially done for patients who are under ng tube who are being fed and then their feeding is being monitored and then their drainage what comes out and what goes in the same thing you measure the weight of the patient every day you take the stool and then the urine and then you keep it all these are very very important because it leads to productive treatment of a patient any changes observe you must report immediately call the physician order document and make sure you do something about it. Thank you.